and today we have a special guest driver taking on the Sunday challenge. It's Silver Bullet. Toodaloo, motherfucker! That's the one. So he's going to be driving the Cadillac Eldorado. Cautiously, tamely. I didn't, I didn't even see how many kilometres you got to go. A lot. Where are we? We're, going, we're going to San Fran. We're going to San Fran. Los Angeles. Los Angeles to San Fran. Well, we'll see how long that is when you start driving because it'll come up on the thing. Take it away, Silver. If you need to look left or right, look. I'm going anyway. Okay, so you've got the thing at the top. If you need to look left or right, you can let me know and I can. I should be right. She'll be right. I always make up a thing. If you crash into a, a, a dumpster or a bin, that's okay. Uh, another car, a pole, a building, obviously not. There might be other online players and you'll see their name tags flash past. Mm -hmm. If you crash into them or they crash into you, that's not a part of the deal. That's only 22 kilometres. It's not far, is it? You wouldn't think so. <laughs> I will really be spewing. I don't know if I've got a 100% run yet. If you get a 100% run, then watch me walk up walk. Well, you must have some new calls in the car. I don't think I've actually asked you. Have you ever had a crash in the car? When, like... Oh, when, when you've been driving, ever. Real lot, like, actual driving. Yes. Yeah, not, not in the game. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have. I've had a few accidents. Only one being my fault. I would say pres presumably you're a good driver at other people's faults. What's, what's happened when other people have been at fault? Uh, I crash into a tree. <laughs> when other people have been at fault? Other people have been at fault, they kept, they were on my side of the road. Yeah, so you're avoiding? I was avoiding them and I crashed into a tree. Wow. And I assume everybody was okay? A little bit of whiplash, but we are good. Well, that's one out of the four or five stories. <laughs> so I'm also trying to distract you. <laughs> oh, do I tell you the one? I've never been in a crash. Well, it's not completely true either. Um, remember when I was in primary school, mum and dad, we went to Adelaide for something. No, that was that was coming back. We went to Adelaide and we're coming back here, back to home. This wasn't a crash story. Um, within like 500 metres of being home and it was very late at night. No, no, that's not even correct. We're, we're at the city, we come home, so 250 kilometres. We get home, late at night. And then we're going to go into Nans, it's about 10 kilometers away. Mm -hmm. We get home, unpack our stuff, blah, 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 blah. Get in the car and two kilometers from home, tire blows. Oh, shit. <laughs> How lucky were we that we were that close? Oh, uh, when I was little, my mum was driving. And she was driving on a dirt road. I had just learned how to unbuckle my booster seat. And I unbuckled it and she turned around, she screamed at me. You're one of those kids. She screamed at me, she's like, get it back on! And, um... Ooh! <laughs> Other dickhead drivers that are AIs, you know, you've got to deal with them. Um, she went around the corner, I just, I literally just buckled my seat belt. And we went around the corner and tire blew spun the car around into a ditch. I've been loved cars ever since. 
<laughs> just normally you want to be in control of the speed. Um, so yeah, I nearly went through a windscreen. If I hadn't put my belt on that quick, I would have gone through the windscreen. You can change your view if you want to. But well, I find it very disorienting if you go from a view that's too different, especially from like the back of the car to back into the driver's seat. So tap the top two buttons. If you want to do that, you don't have to. I'm good. No, this is not your preferred. Preferred. You only done like four, five, or six Ks. You still got 18 to go. What was the other story? That was the last one. Um, oh, story. No, no, I was thinking of mine, but yours. Well, what were yours? Well, I was trying to think of that one. I was ah the crash that was my fault, which I wholeheartedly admit was my fault. I um, just remember what we're doing here. Mm -hmm. My ex-partner was driving in front of me. And you have to admit it. He stopped. I stopped, I thought he went, he didn't, I went right up the house end of his car. Was it like night time or something? No, it was daytime. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, because well, like, what is lights were not working or something? No, I knew he was there, I just didn't click on that he wasn't moving. Well, he didn't like him that much anymore. <laughs> I'm what? gesturing my hands because I'm trying to think of something funny to say. Yeah, nothing you say is funny. Everything you say is funny. Um, oh, yeah, no, the one day I was in a car crash. Um, remember where we used to live? Pulling up to the intersection. Yeah. Someone just crashed into the back of us. We went, oh, oh, bugger. <laughs> and I was like, Mom, what did you do? He's like, I didn't do anything. Look behind you. He's like, ah. Oh. <laughs> we got crashed into. <laughs> we got rear-ended. We were going on a trip to Adelaide. I think it was over, yeah, over Christmas. And Mum and Dad had their caravan. They just bought it like four months prior. Anyway, they were bringing it to my place to pick us up. And quite literally, like, this caravan's a 21-foot caravan, and they've got a big white car. And this big white caravan. And literally two doors up from me, this lady was reversing. She stopped, she saw mum's car. She stopped, and then reversed straight into the uh, caravan. Took the whole side of the caravan out, blew a couple of tires, uh, or blew one tire, sorry. We managed to get the tyre fixed and go away, that was fine. You know, the van was structurally sound still. Um, then we're in the drive through of KFC, I think it was. <laughs> and we're sitting there and there's this bop. We, we got hit from behind. The guy behind us didn't see that we stopped. and ran out the back end of the car. Ah. <laughs> uh. Mum's like, what the hell? <laughs> we all thought she had foot slipped off the brake, but... Oh, I guess my race, most recent one was I went to uh, a sporting park here. I pulled in, the parking was really tight, because who I was parking next to, both sides were really on the line. Mm -hmm. One of them actually over one. No other park, so I pulled in there. I got in there, fine. Because one of them pulls out, you know, half hour later and takes off. And I'm the one who's on that side. Yeah. You know, close to that side. And there's an old couple, you know, the little car I've got, and the old couple come in big, freaking uh, four wheel drive thing. And sitting there in the car, and the car goes, brum, 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 brum. that motherfucker just hit me. <laughs> <laughs> so I get out. I look, there's a big white streak down the side of my black car. Oh no. I made the mistake, I started rubbing it off and it all come off. Yeah. 
And then I went and I said, knocked on the door, it's like, hey, bro. It was an older couple. Um, you know you just hit me parking in, right? He ran his window down. He was amazing. His missus. No, we didn't. We did nothing. Did nothing. That fucking happened. Like, um, the other people in the car the whole car went like this. Blah, 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 we're shaking side to side. So he come back and look at where he hit. But I had rubbed it off. Oh, uh, no. So, okay. I know where you hit. Look at his car. He's got a big black streak across the front of his car. We didn't rub off. <laughs> <laughs> and anyway, I said, okay, no foul, no thing. Like, it didn't actually damage my car. Mm -hmm. It just damaged your car. Because when we rubbed his off, the paint come off. <gasps> oh, no. And anyway, I gave him my address and that. And I said, look, I'm okay. I'm not going to do anything because I, after I've cleaned it off, I can't see anything that happened to my car. Um, your car's a different story. He rubbed it off and he could see bare metal on your side of the car. Anyway, I gave him my address and apparently I wasn't home. He'd come here and I had one of my friends here. And he was like, he come over the next day. I was at work. I was like, oh, I feel so bad. Does he want me to fix his car? And so I was like, looks like your car needs fixing, bro. <laughs> you crashed into me, your car needs fixing. <laughs> that was pretty wild. And just, just that... It doesn't take much, it's sort of like that she went off. Yeah. She wasn't the driver. We didn't do nothing, we didn't do nothing. I had three people in my car. And the car's gone. <laughs> like, yes you did. And that's the mistake I made is I rubbed it off to see if there's any damage before I confronted him. Um, the other really well, we got a story? No. No no we you're driving, you're the one telling the story. Ah, oh, the only real damage I've done to my car in accident. You can go faster, you don't have to be a grandma. I'm being a grandma. You, you're, you're very patient. You, you really have not watched my stories. Of, whoa! You might get the first actual victory. I don't want to... I don't want... Well, I want you to fail, but... No, 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 no. You might get the first pure 100% completion. Oh, we're not in the city yet. I don't like. I love country driving. Only 10k. Don't like city driving. You left the city. No, no. I, I want you to be successful. I really don't, but I want you to be successful. I thought you were about to say vasectomy then. Say sex with you. Vasectomy. Vasect. Dream on. <laughs> I'm sure I'm really shooting blanks. Doesn't matter anyway. I want to egg you on so you crash. Is he hooting at you? Are you almost off the road on the other side? The other funny story I guess I've got that comes to mind. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Look at the sporting park that we got here. I remember going there one night. I was a bit upset. I don't know. I can't remember what happened. But I was part, they got the, the palm post fence things. We got the two uprights and one across the horizontal. And you know, they're pretty light, but they can sit on. Yep. Have I told you the story? No. I think I think I might have. Anyway, we want to have the VK. So, uh, upset for whatever reason it was. I get in my car and I don't put it in reverse, I put it in drive. <laughs> <laughs> And I just hit this fence. It doesn't fall over, but I've clearly seen that I've moved it. But what it did to my car was bend my license plate. Don't worry about the objective. That's you've just gone through a speed challenge. Yeah. Well, you, you're in a challenge. Okay, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You, you think it'll come back? You think you think it'll come back? So I I, I sort of hit it and I nudged it. All I did to my car was bend my number plate back. So I got home, and it was at the park where you play softball and baseball. So that weekend I'm back there, and I pull up at that field, and I can see the one that I hit, because it's a little bit slightly bent. And I see like a young couple go and sit on it, and I'm going, <laughs> I'm thinking, oh, that was the one that I, oh yeah, I'll bump. 
And he, they go fucking flat over the tick because the whole thing just didn't collapse but it just fell over. And then I'm <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> and it's like, whoops. Never told anybody, but you know, I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> when my ex was teaching me how to drive, um, he had this big, big car, like it was a really long, heavy car and he got me to do a u-turn i did a u-turn but while doing the u-turn i ran into somebody's fence knocked their fence over <laughs> and ran into a tree so, no damage to his car like just minor scratches to his car but oh, was it a cadillac no it was a ford Fairlane. i really okay, that's a big old block yeah, really old one, like a 80s, 90s one. Well, you've only got six kilometres to go, don't fuck up now. So I can't believe how some big cars used to be. Uh, and heavy. are among the biggest of them. Even Pontiac had some huge cars. Well, this fair lane, right, they're like tanks. They're heavy. Anyway, I was pregnant, like newly pregnant, not very far along. And um, the car broke down. <laughs> and it broke down in his driveway, which was a hill. So he's like, you know, get out, push the car. We'll rock it back and forth to start it. <laughs> About five rocks back and forth. So going down here was fine. Pushing the damn thing back up here was fucking nightmare. Or so was it the clutch or the transmission or something? I don't know. I, I can't remember what, well, what actually went wrong. Shoot back and forth to get, get it going to gear. But it was like, I don't know. Um, pushing it maybe 10 meters so not very far at all but pushing it back uphill a heavy tank like the fair lane yeah that's got to be like transmission or gearbox plunking into gear all his cars were crap he was a you know he worked on cars so he had all the crappy cars he worked on so yeah that sounds exactly right he sort of um he knew what the problem was it's like if the gears weren't up here it's gotta be fine. Oh. Once in every ten drives, it's not gonna be fine. He um had another. He, he always had Fords. He was a Ford man, and it was really funny because I was a Holden girl. Did he drive a Ranger? No, he didn't. <laughs> he he doesn't get new cars. All I can see when I see a Ranger now. There's a, there's the, a, the Frank is pulling out in front of me all the fucking time. Always, the Frank is always blocking me. I can't remember the model, but I know it was a 90s model. It was a Falcon. And um, it was a wagon. And it only fired on five cylinders. It was a V8. Only fired on five cylinders. That might have made a racket and fucking shook all over the place. Oh, yeah, we're like, uh, <laughs> you know. And uh, I was driving it up in the hills where I learned to drive like in the city in the hills less and than three kilometers to go um i went to do a u-turn oh, me and my u-turns we don't we don't fare very well me and u-turns and <laughs> i was halfway across i was literally like straight across two lanes and the car decided to conk out <laughs> keep going at night time Right, there's no street lights because we're up in the hills, and I had my best friend in the back, I had him in the front, and I'm stressing. I'm like, Oh my god, if a car comes over that hill, we're goners. Yep, remind me of the name Barry next episode. Keep on. Um, it was hilarious. That, that was it. Like, he, he, he had to get out and push the car and stuff off the side of the road so we could start the car again. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna fucking do it, aren't you? 
Oh, well, I, don't see, know. I guess this is evidence that, you know, why no one really gets to drive my car. You want to look left or right, let me know. And that's all right. This is why I let you drive my cars. I'm going to make the next, next one a lot more difficult for you. The difficult spot is trying to find the car park that I set up. I thought I sent a pretty easy one, didn't I? One point one kilometers. It didn't even change views. That's got to be your next challenge for the next one. You got to change views a couple of times after you have a couple more drinks. Trans Am next time because sometimes it doesn't matter what car I'm driving, I hear that transmission clunk. I've not heard it this whole time. I'm spewing, I'm gonna throw my remote at the screen if you park cleanly. <laughs> oh, yeah, parking's not I've gonna be great. Never been this close. Well, if you can get through the next one, then I'm gonna make you. Oh, there you go. Um, no, oh, wait, oh, there, there it is. Sorry, sorry. That was me doing... Just stop. Just stop. That was me flicking the... Well, that's view. a park there, technically. Between two trucks. Yep, let go. You parked. Let go. Just stop. Let go. I did it. You're an ass. I mean, well done. Thank you. That was pretty much... Well, you know... Um, this episode is going to end. You're going to have that and I'll get you another one on the rocks. <laughs> and then we'll see what happens. I've never played a Sunday Drive sober. You've never done anything? I drive my cars. Yes, you drive your real life cars. That's the only thing you do sober though. I've got other hobbies that dictate that I must be sober. Dictate. <laughs> that is a beautiful car. Well, I don't know, I'll say we'll put you in something that's fucking stupidly fast and see how you go. Stupidly fast. Stupidly fast. Stupidly fast. Stupidly fast. I like stupidly fast. That's what we're gonna do. Silver Bullet thinks she's, you know, King shit right here. Uh uh uh. You go, girl. Anything I think of is going to come in derogatively, so I don't want to say that. <laughs> we'll see how good of a driver you are when in a stupidly fast car. Stupidly. 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 Shickly. Stupidly. How do you want to send people off? Toodaloo. Motherfucker.